Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris from The Grid Hi-Fi. We're out here in Houston, Texas. We're out in the Bel Air region, and this is The Grid Hi-Fi. This is something that is brand new that I wanna to bring to you guys. Uh, I haven't necessarily let you guys know about this yet, but this is a brand new uh, role that I'm assuming I'm gonna be the brand ambassador for, for this Hi-Fi shop out here in Houston, Texas, and sta <laughs> standing behind me are, to, are, are the reasons why, right? So this is a really, really cool system. I wanna let you guys know about it. We're gonna get into it right after the intro. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you what makes this system so special. So let's just start out systematically at the at the top, right? So over here, we have our VPI um, phono stage, and this thing is really, really cool. So easiest thing to do is you come over here, you press it on, gets going, and then you start moving this, and then that'll engage the turntable itself. You have your acrylic platter on top, as well as your weight. So you go ahead and take your record, put it in there, drop this on top, and then you're ready to drop your needle right here. Um, that is connected through interconnects into this one right here, which is gonna be the Macintosh MP1100. This is their dedicated um, phono preamplifier. So this thing is really, really cool. Obviously you get the readouts on front, which is awesome. You get the haptic feedback from the individual um, dials right here. And then you also have your glowing tubes right there in the back. So this gives a nice, nice, <laughs> full body experience whenever you're listening to your favorite records. It really adds a lot of soul to the, to the system. And then down here, you will see that the VPI has continued again. We have our analog drive system. You can change the, the speed of your record individually. So sometimes you like your record speed sped up. Sometimes you like them slowed down. You can get a spectrometer uh, in there or a, spe a spectroscope in there. And you can really dial in exactly um, this system to your taste or as, as clinically as you want. Down here we have the JL Audio amplifier and just to let you guys know, like none of these subwoofers were playing dur during any of those demos. So I wanna make sure that this was a true uh, Macintosh type of demo for you guys. So we have those as well. And then down here we have our Focal name uh, streamer. This one is really, really cool because that was taking care of those FLAC files for you guys. You know, high res is where it's at, especially if you guys are gonna be going to this, this length. You guys are gonna wanna, gonna wanna have some incredible high fidelity. Claris Concerto down here, and that's a big part of this system. Claris Concerto is taking care of the, um, the power conditioning, and we have Claris cabling throughout for your power cables. We also have tributary interconnects for things that aren't um, necessarily balanced as well. And then for speaker cabling, it looks like these XRT 2.1 Ks have the Macintosh dedicated speaker wires for their triamp capability. So. Let's just go ahead and talk about that. So as you can see over here, we have the big statement. This one is the MC2KW, and this is a massive amplifier, right? This gives you a this gives you all the power that you'll ever need, and they're it's perfectly matched with these Macintosh speakers right here, um, because obviously the, the the power output is just perfect um, for the, for this specific system. Tons of power over here, and this thing, it doesn't even give you any sense of size, but this is a massive, it takes up a massive footprint, but if you wanna to go to this level, this is the type of performance that you're gonna be getting out of it. So on the digital aspect of things, like I was talking about with Hi-Fi, you're gonna to wanna to have things on separate, separate occasions. So each individual player does its own specific thing. This preamplifier works hand in hand with this streamer down here, which is off for the moment. Um, I haven't played anything just yet, and I'll get, get in some demos for you guys in just a minute. But this is the D1100. This is the only one that hasn't been upgraded just yet. So this right here, we'll get into that in a second. This is the D1100, and this is the dedicated digital preamplifier. Works great, has great haptic feedback with any of the buttons that you choose. You can select right here. Um, but all that works great. So if you want to use it with your, your, CD, your, your CD transport, it'll work perfectly for you. SACDs, it'll handle that with, with the breeze. And then again, talking about using things in separate stages, we have the C12000. This is the preamplifier. This is brand new. And uh, this is brand new. <laughs> it's, it's super cool too. So um, with preamplifiers, you're taking that a step further into teasing out individual things that it does. So we have the preamplifier stage here all the power goes in here, and then we have all the control happening down in, in another box. So there's no crosstalk. Everything is individually sealed so that you get ultimate pristine clarity throughout your entire sound. So this entire system goes through this network right here, 
whenever it gets played and the result is just incredible. I haven't played a thing today, but I have been playing around in this room a lot for the last couple days. I think that's gonna wrap it up for the components per se. So I guess let's go ahead and just show you guys some demos. Um, I will warn you, I will have to clip these things every couple seconds. I don't wanna get this video taken down for copyright infringement. So if you guys are getting going in your favorite groove, um, I don't mean to take you out of your groove, but it's just one of those things. So let's go ahead and jump into some demos in just a second. I stare into glass and wait for the time And I thank you for the answer And everything was fine This hope and promise fade All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up from the Grid Hi-Fi here in Houston, Texas. This was a lot of fun. Let me know down in the comments which what was your specific favorite part of this video. If you guys like the, the record player, if you guys like, you know, the, the digital side of things, if you guys like the speakers, if you guys just like the blue neon or the green neons, let me know what you guys think down in the description. But this is going on my specific channel. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm also going to be man managing the Grid Hi-Fi's channel as well. So I'm going to be double posting those videos. But if you want to check out their channel, I'll leave it right up here as well as in the description. So you guys can make sure you guys like share and subscribe over on there and then really get behind this 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 movement right so two channel has always been a passion of mine i think it's a lot of fun and i wanted to share that passion with you guys as well maybe you can't afford it right now maybe you want to be able to buy it later on so you know just keep that in mind and also <laughs> you guys can just check out the cool content whenever we come out with stuff so new gear comes out all the time components get swapped out all the time. We'll do demos, we'll give you reviews, different stuff like that. So if that type of content is cool for you, make sure you guys, you guys check out the Grid hi Fi's channel as well. So um, we're gonna be doing that in, uh, in, in just a little bit, but really appreciate you guys for watching. Um, that's all I got. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.